Before I go into the heart of the presentation, we need to define terrorism. The word was invented in 1793 during the French Revolution. At the end of the French Revolution, the government of terror, le gouvernement de la terreur, started to use the national razor or the guillotine to behead 20 to 40,000 people. And the situation was so bad that the perpetrators themselves started to refer to themselves as terrorists because it was the government of terror. So the word terrorism was invented by the perpetrators themselves. Now, 221 years later, there have been over 200 definitions of terrorism. In China, if you're a Tibetan monk, you are a terrorist. In Zimbabwe, if you're a political opponent, you are a terrorist. Fortunately, to solve that problem, 26 years ago, in 1988, two scholars from the Netherlands, Schmidt and Youngman, looked at all the 200 definitions of terrorism and did a content analysis. What do these definitions have in common? So they looked for commonalities and they discovered that in 83.5% of all the definitions, the term violence appeared. In 65% of all those definitions of terrorism, the terms political goals appeared. And in 61% of all the definitions of terrorism, the terms fear and terror appeared. Finally, 26 years ago, we had a definition of terrorism that most people could agree on. And the definition was this. Terrorism is the use of violence for political reasons in order to cause fear and terror. Now, symbolism in terrorism has been underrepresented in the media. Most classes, most presentations on terrorism are in political science, they're in criminal justice, they're in psychology, psychiatry, because people study the brain, the brains of suicide bombers and what they do, they do stuff like that. But from a symbolic standpoint, studies on terrorism have been underrepresented. We need to define symbolism. Within symbolism lies the word symbol. A symbol is an object or a concept that has a very important meaning for people in society, in a specific culture. Symbols can be physical, like logos, like style of dress, buildings, flags, like concrete things, things you can see, hear, or touch. Or they can be non-physical, things that you cannot hear, see, or touch. 